Welcome back to the Make You a Better Public Speaker. Today is lesson 77, and we're talking about oxymorons and why you should incorporate them in your next speech or presentation. An oxymoron, simply put, is two terms or phrases that are contradictory to each other placed side by side. And again, this kind of helps you add some complexity to your presentation or speech. And here are three reasons why you should incorporate these in your next presentation or speech. Number one, it's going to captivate the audience's attention, right? As a present presenter or a public speaker, the idea is you want to kind of engage with your audience and creating some cognitive, dis cognitive dissonance is going to help your audience think a little bit and, you know, pique their curiosity just a bit. So when the audience is listening and listening and you throw some unexpected word combination, this makes them pay a little bit more closer attention to what you want to say and keeps them more engaged longer. So for example, if you were to use a phrase like in this rapidly changing world, we must find a way to stand out by embracing the beautiful chaos of innovation. And then oxymoron there is beautiful chaos, right? You're talking about making a change and how the future and the present are kind of just constantly going crazy. It's a good thing. And chaos is like typically a bad thing, but this is going to grab their attention and like get sucked into what you have to say. All right. Number two, highlighting paradoxes, right? So oxymorons are useful. It's like you want to emphasize the existence of a paradox or specifically the contradiction, right? Sometimes in our world, things don't just make sense. So again, you want to be able to highlight certain key points in your speech. So for an example, you could say, in the pursuit of our freedom, we sometimes find ourselves trapped by the very choices we make. All right. So these are, this is an example of phrases, right? Trapped by the choices. Trapped means you're kind of stuck. Choices means you have multiple options. Right? This is a paradox. If you're trapped by choices, it's their opposite. And again, it's you're trying to highlight the idea that, you know, maybe our choices are limited or we're stuck with the choices we make. Either way, it makes the audience think just a little bit more to what it is you're trying to say. Number three, it's going to enhance, enhance emotional impact. Like I said before, in many of the videos, you want to create a connection with you presenter or speaker with you and your audience. If you can create that emotional connection, you're going to lock in your audience's attention and keep it a lot more. So when you're trying to invoke strong emotional feelings, here's an example of how you can do that. Right? Our love was a deafening silence, a quiet storm that raged within our hearts. All right. So essentially on the outside, everything is normal. But inside, everything is going crazy, right? You have this emo strong emotion for someone you care about, every, even though everything looks normal. Inside, you're kind of a mess. And when you kind of use these, it allows you to kind of paint this vivid picture to the audience. And they're like, oh, I understand, which helps the audience relate to your message a little bit more. And it keeps them locked in in an emotional, in an emotional way, which if you can connect with someone emotionally, they're going to keep coming back and you're going to have more opportunities to speak. So let's recap. Number one, captivating attention. Number two, highlighting paradoxes. And number three, enhancing emotional impact. So go out there, try to use some oxymorons within your next presentation and become a better public speaker. See you next time.